Welcome, Taurus, Gemini, to your Astrodice reading for July. I hope your friends are doing great out there. Hope you guys have a wonderful July. Okay, let's get this started. This is where we take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope. Okay, let's see what's going on with you, my friends. Taurus, Gemini, please. Best message for Taurus, Gemini, for July. Ooh, going straight into the fifth house. Seen that right off the bat. Having some Neptune energy with some Sagittarius energy. Whoa. Get strong over here with some fire, 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 fire. Okay. <clears throat> so what is it? It is Neptune. Your fantasies, yearnings, longings, and potential for illusions. So just kind of daydreaming. Um, that's kind of a daydream believer. Uh, doing a lot of dreaming, maybe having some passionate thoughts, um, dreaming about the future, um, things like that. So very nice. Okay. And with the Sagittarius energy coming in, so how is it going to be done? It is going to be done with the energy that imbues power, superior confidence, enthusiasm, with faith, good fortune, and authority. So it feels like if you're daydreaming and you're really looking for things and you might be manifesting things, because um, you definitely can be doing that while daydreaming, um, you're using this faith and really looking for the good fortune um, within this uh, longing that you have over here, longing to have things and dreaming about having better things. Um, yeah. Okay, and about the fifth house. So it's talking about this fifth house. Of course, it's going to be, there's going to be all kinds of houses, right? You have 12 houses that you're going to hit this month, but this is the one that it's really talking about. And this is talking about where you have fun, romance, and create things you are proud of. So like I said, you could be daydreaming about this, this uh, new person that you just looked at. Maybe you'd like to have a chance with them. Um, having fun, um, dreaming about going to the beach and when I can get there. Um, you know, things of this nature, um, you know, having creative ideas and things that you're proud of. You might even be dreaming of writing a book, um, you know, anything like that, my friends. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Feeling that Neptunian energy. And getting straight into the situation, the situation is taking place in the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. In the beginning of the month, what we got going on here, especially for this Neptune, you know, it's like, what are you fantasizing about over here, having a dreaming about, right? Bettering your situation, dreaming about a loved one, and it's definitely fantasies. Now you have the moon coming up, which is also a fantasy card. So this is definitely dreaming. It's definitely saying that you're feeling dreamy. You are feeling like, you know, waiting for the perfect timing. Maybe you're trying to dream of putting things together for the perfect timing. Um, wow. Wow. A lot of daydreaming over here. Could be wishing upon the moon or wishing upon a star, things of this nature. So very nice. It is very dreamy. Clarify on the Sagittarius, determined to get to where you want to be. And it could feel like there's a little bit of an overburden. Um, it could feel kind of overburdensome because maybe you're really trying to fantasize to get this together. And maybe it feels like, well, I still have to move all these sticks to make everything come together for the perfect timing. Um, or waiting for the perfect timing could be a uh, kind of pain in the butt. But it does feel like you are kind of overburdened in this area, um, but very determined to do so. Um, it could, it might not be the easiest um, dream to make come true. So you're really pushing the limits over here. The Page of Pentacles. It feels like you could be texting people, messaging people. If it is trying to build this romantic relationship with someone, um, it could be kind of, maybe they're a little blocked. Maybe they have a wall around them. So it's kind of hard, like you're kind of chipping at the wall over here, trying to get them to open up. That's for some of you. Um, dreaming of the time when they actually really 100% take your, your offering over here with the Page of Pentacles, but it does feel like you are offering um, your creative dreams and um, to yourself or some someone else, okay? So take it how it resonates. Really putting it out there with the Page of Pentacles. The 
be offering someone to go have fun with you. Maybe they feel like they're burdened and maybe they can't come at this time. I'm not sure. Let's clarify on the burden real fast. It feels like um, if it's a creative, if it's a romantic partner, it feels like they might have a wall, and you're trying to climb over this wall, um, and it's really hard to get their attention the way you want to get their attention. Could be someone from the past that you've known for a while, but it does feel like they're kind of cold and, um, like I said, just kind of. Um, it's not even really cold. Like I said, it feels like a wall. Because I feel like they talk to you. Like, you know, they, they talk to you. They do things with you. But it just feels like they don't do things with you. Like, it's it, you're trying to get them to come closer to you. Yeah, you're trying to make a new beginning with them. You're trying to take this leap of faith. And it's really kind of hard um, when they're, you know, when they're so blocked. Maybe they don't answer your calls right away um, when you would like them to because maybe you had something you would like to do during the 4th of July or during the weekend and it feels like it's kind of a burden because they're not, you know, coming towards me the way I would like them to. They seem to take the kind of their sweet time to do so. Um, if you're creating something, doing something, it could be a Virgo that you're trying to get, get you know, a Virgo or a Capricorn that you're trying to um, get closer to. It feels like, though, that you are offering someone something to go do something fun. Um, but it's just, maybe they always have an excuse. It's just very hard. Wanting the achievements. Praying and trying to get their attention for a lot of you. It is a new relationship. or trying to build a relationship with this person. Or maybe it's even the other way around. This is a general reading. Maybe they're trying their hardest to chip at you. <laughs> and get you to go out and you're fantasizing about something else, right? And you're like, uh, I can't do that. I'm, I'm trying to create something over here. That could be for some of you. But most of you, it looks that way. It looks more like I'm trying to get somebody's attention. I'm trying to build a relationship with this person. Um, but they're kind of... Yeah, they're kind of offsetish. They kind of hard to get a hold of. You're trying to keep the strength together over here and be strong about the situation. And it just feels like they have a lot of strength, though, too. A lot of strength, too, that of just keeping that wall up. <clears throat> huh. So it does feel like trying to get over here is, is going to whatever you're creating in the fifth house. Um, is a struggle for sure definitely a struggle trying to get this dream together five of cups in the mid month they still haven't traveled towards you the way you would like them to travel towards you now it feels like they're not traveling towards you the way that you want them to travel towards you um you could be dealing with an aries or a sagittarius um But it does feel like uh, Three of Pentacles, they're not giving you the attention that you're trying to get. It's not working the way you want it to work. You have Five of Cups over here. It's like whatever the fifth house is, it's not coming together the way you want it to come together. It doesn't mean it's not going to come together. It just means right now in July, it's not coming together the way you assumed it would. That doesn't mean they're completely gone, but it does feel like... You want the Five of Cups. You want them to come towards you with passion. You do. And it feels like you're trying to give the passion back out, but they're not really taking it the way uh, you were trying to push it, right? And for some of you, why does it feel like it's kind of off and on? Like, they seem to want to take it when they want to. Who's that for, right? And then they come to you with passion, and then they leave. So then you have this player. I'm sorry, it's a player card upside down. The upside down page of wands is the player, right? So it almost feels like they're playing with your emotions in mid-month. Because they're not manifesting real love. So it's giving you five of cups. So it's almost like they're kind of playing with your emotions. It doesn't mean they're a player. It doesn't mean that they... When it, The player card is there. Um, let's put it this way. Um, 
when I say player, it's kind of like also having three of cups. It doesn't mean they're cheating. It doesn't mean they're just playing you. It means that they feels like they're playing with your heart. I'm giving you my love. I want love back. You come, you give me attention. We have a good time. But because you're not looking for love and I'm looking for love, that feels like you're playing with my heartstrings, right? But you have to understand there could be this thing, though, with them. It could be that they are not looking for love while you're looking for love, right? They're looking for a good time. Um, you ask them to have a good time, so they're going to take the good time and they're going to roll with it. You expect more out of it and they're not seeing it that way. So there is that energy also coming off of this reading. Three of Pentacles, you're trying to give them a lot of attention, but they don't seem to be giving their, their attention back. Um, they're kind of doing what they want to do. Um, if you're together with another friend, you might feel like you're a third wheel within the situation when you're with them because they're giving this other person a lot of more attention during the, the mid-month. Um, so if, like said, if you guys go out together, all of a sudden it's like you offered them a date but then you had this other person come with you and they end up giving all this attention to this other friend or this other person, making you feel like the third wheel um, in which that wasn't the way it was supposed to be. I mean, even if you're double dating, it could feel like, you know, we'll just say if you guys are guys. The two girls are end up mingling more together um, than it was supposed to be, right? So however you want to see it, it makes you feel like you're not getting the attention from that person. They seem to be running off with the other person more. Um, with the moon over here. But this is what you've been dreaming about. So it's almost like the dream um, is becoming more of an illusion in its own way. You're still waiting for the perfect timing to see the dream come through. Yeah. Yeah, you don't see any seeds being planted the way you you have dreamed of them being planted. It feels like you've given them for, oh man, I'm just going to, you know, it feels like you've given them a lot of attention and they're just not, they're taking the attention, but they're not giving it back. There is a wall up. They have hard boundaries or they just don't want love. <clears throat> Yeah, so it doesn't feel like it's it feels unsuccessful. It feels like they're not going to take your wand. They're not going to take this action with you at this time. So whatever you're creating, it's it feels more like love over here for you guys than anything. It really does. Or some kind of friendship, right? But it really feels more like romance. You could almost say that um, we could use the old word of they're playing hard to get. It's more of a term that men use more than women, but um, I would definitely use that. Especially for you men out there, that would be what it is. They're kind of playing hard to get. It's like I give you everything you want. You seem to take it from me, but yet you don't want to provide me with anything. <clears throat> like you're not, you know, really understanding or wanting to understand that I'm trying to pursue you and to love, but, you know, and to be my girlfriend, boyfriend, however it is, and they're not, it's, and you know, it's not maybe that they didn't get the memo, it's they don't want the memo. They don't want this right now, right? And you're over here trying to get their attention. The end of the month, lack of patience, two of wands, and the hierophant. Okay, so this is an interesting, here, here, this is very interesting. Now it's taken like almost a 160 turn. It's almost like you have lack of patience over here. It's like I've kind of given up the ghost with the two of wands. I don't know if you're coming or going. I'm trying to stay within this relationship over here, which I believe is a relationship, but it's not even a real relationship. Okay. You stop holding on so tight. You're going to stop holding on tight to this because you realize, Taurus Gemini, that this is not going with the way you want it to go. 
And it doesn't mean that you still don't dream of having this person or having this person come to you. What you do is you stop. It's almost like you stop. You stop messaging them. It's like I'm the third wheel. Um, you you want to pay more attention to work or your friends or, you know what I'm saying, however it is, and not give me any attention. Um, so I'm letting go. I'm, I'm going to let go of this. I'm not going to try to create this. I'm not going to ask you to go have fun with me anymore. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to let go. Now you have the two of wands over here. The two of wands is making you look out. There is this looking out at other things. You're now, your attention, yes, your attention is somewhere else with the three of coins. You are now doing something else. You are, put your attention maybe towards another person, um, maybe a group of friends, um, whatever you do, you know, I'm just going to go home, play video games, forget it, you know, whatever. Um, but you have recognize that all the hard work is really not putting you in the direction that you want. So you're looking in other directions to go do things, not giving them any attention. Right. Absolutely. With the nine of coins in reverse. So if you felt like maybe you were excessively trying to push them towards you, you're giving up that obsession. You're giving up that excessive push, right? And it doesn't even have to be obsession. It just be like, I was excessively trying to push them towards me. I tried to do everything I could. Um, but it is, you realize that you're not doing that anymore. They're kind of doing whatever they want to do with the hierophant over here with the relationship. You're just keeping the faith and you're, you know, it's, it's not out of the energy. You're just not pushing as hard anymore. Fine. You don't want to, you don't want to be with me. Fine. You're just kind of unifying, but you're kind of keeping the hope alive that this person will come towards you, waiting for the opportunity to come knock at the door. And then here comes a text message. So can I just tell you something? <laughs> as soon as you give up the ghost with this person, that's when they're going to come knocking. Because they're going to say, what happened to Taurus, Jim and I, where did they go? They gave me so much attention. They like the attention. Okay. They like the attention. Could be a fire sign. Fire signs do like a lot of attention. Um, it, but however it is, it doesn't matter. As soon as you kind of give up the ghost over here at the end of the month of getting their attention, here they come with their, their message. Clarify on the message. Tower upside down, where'd you go? I thought we were having fun with the Ten of Cups. What? How did you even think we were having fun? I didn't think we were having any fun. I mean, we had fun, but you just kind of, you know, you didn't seem to really be interested. Now, all of a sudden, now that you don't have any interested, <laughs> interest really in keeping this alive, now they want to come and tell you that they want interest. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, with Sagittarius energy. Crazy. Crazy how that works, but it doesn't matter. Point is, all of a sudden, they want to open these doors with you with the Seven of Cups. They have different feelings, different ideas, different opinions about what's going on. And they're sitting over here saying, what happened to you? Where did you go? So this whole month, you're going to be pushing and digging to get their attention and to do things with them and get them, you know, to get closer to you. And it, it's going to take... It's going to take you to say, well, then screw it. Screw it. Yeah, you know, you message me or whatever. Because it almost feels like right here you stop writing them and they don't even write you. Right? They don't even, they just, if you aren't the one putting in the work, they're not coming towards you. Then all of a sudden you stop writing them and then they're like, hey, where'd you go? So let's see how this person even feels. I know this is a person, so. <clears throat> okay, so in the... <clears throat> oh boy. For the love cards over here, 
And I remind you, this, this person probably doesn't really love you, okay? I mean, there hasn't been enough here to show any kind of love. You know, they might love you because they know you. There's a different kinds of love between I love you and I'm in love with you. So they're probably not in love with you. I'm sure they show you love, right? But you know each other for, looks like you've known each other for a while. Okay. It says go ahead and keep expressing your love with your gesture. But there is an unrequited love. Like I said, see, there it is. They're not in love with you. Um, okay. But there is this overall attraction. They have trust issues. And, and that, that that's the thing. You know, there, I told you there's, there's a wall here with this person. Um, and I, I think that's really what's going on. They've built a wall because they've, they've probably had bad relationships in the past. Um, and trust issues are a big thing. So they might not really 100% trust the situation. So, okay. So I would try, yeah, getting to know each other first. So that then you can give the relationship a chance. Because I think once they start really understanding you, when they come back around and really start to get to know you, then there will be a greater thing. And it's kind of crazy because you're like, what do you mean get to know me? I've known them for a long time. Well, yeah, but from a different kind of angle, right? If you were just friends, they don't know how you are on a love area, right? So they would have to be more open to break down those walls so that they could give the relation. They need to give the relationship a chance because they have to break down barriers to let you in. And like I said, I don't, you know, if it's somebody you've known for 20 years and you haven't talked to them and, you know, since then or 11 years or something. Yeah, they know you, but they don't know you from that aspect of this whole love scenario. So. Okay. And that's really what it looks like. Okay. And until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.